and Chris, this is our traveling princess. Right now we are in Heisler Park and we're going to be walking with you through Laguna Beach down to the village, showing you what we see. This is one of our favorite walks and so we thought we would take you with us today. We're in the middle of this park, pretty socially distant, so mask is down just to, so you can hear us at the beginning. But uh, I'm going to turn the camera around because you don't need to look at us this whole time. You should be looking forward to see what I see. This is what we're going to be looking at most of the time. Martin D, welcome to the live stream. And Laguna Beach, it's in Southern California. It is about 45 miles south of downtown Los Angeles. Heisler Park right here. This is kind of on the northern part of Laguna Beach. These are the bluff tops. It's a really neat park that has a lot of picnics and beaches. And I decided to do this live stream and take you on this walk today because Many people have been asking me, Chris, what is Southern California like right now? I've had a lot of people that have said they're coming here around Christmas and they want to know what things are like. So what better way to show you what it's like than to walk around? Photo Advanced on the live stream says, what a beautiful day. It is beautiful here. It is about 72 degrees today on December 15th at 1145 in the morning. So it is a beautiful day for a beach walk. There's a slight breeze, so hopefully you don't hear too much wind in the microphone. By the way, a lot of people have requested that I go outside and do live streams on location. And so this video is also as much of a test of this to see if you all like it, if it's interesting, if this all actually works because Live streaming outside has a lot more logistical challenges than live streaming inside. Uh, Philly Tomcat says, love, this is a live stream, love it. Well, awesome, Philly. And uh, John D says, Newport Beach or Laguna Beach as a vacation spot. I think both of those beaches are really good vacation spots. Newport Beach is the beach just to the north of Laguna Beach. Newport Beach has a lot more to uh, eat and shops and things like that but Laguna Beach is really nice because you can just park your car and kind of leave it so uh, they've done a lot of great things where you can just walk around I've heard perfect weather for skateboarding Laguna Beach is not a very good skateboarding place I must say uh, just because the sidewalks are narrow and there are lots of cars uh, Perry says I should go to Newport Beach and to Javier's and call Perry. All right. So looking back, I just want to show you, this is where we started the walk. We started right here at the beginning of Heisler Park. And if you continue along the coast that way, you will end up in Newport Beach and Crystal Cove. Um, and this Heisler Park has this whole bluff top sidewalk that runs along it with really amazing views. I like Laguna Beach because of the views and Laguna Beach as a city has done a lot for viewpoints and beach access. So pretty much the entire coastline you can access. And if we look over here, this is a view of where we're going to be walking to. Down here, right in this distance, we see Main Beach. This is probably where most people go in Laguna. If you watched my Laguna Beach travel guide I did recently, uh, I was down there, so we're gonna head that way. Uh, Perry says, in addition to Javier's, I should go to Maestro's Ocean Club. I love Maestro's Ocean Club. I love the steaks there. Uh, but I generally go to the Maestro's in um, Costa Mesa instead of the one in Newport Beach, just because I find it easier to get reservations in Costa Mesa. But that's my favorite place for steak in Orange County is, I guess it's pronounced Mastro's. Uh, they also have a great location in Vegas. Justin says, how's the weather? Pretty good, 72 degrees and sunny. Hoshi AM says, sneaking in this live stream at work. Awesome, Hoshi AM. By the way, how does the audio sound? Can everybody hear me pretty good? If somebody could just give me a mic check and let me know how the audio sounds on this live stream. Uh, along this bench, there's, along this bench, along this sidewalk, there's a lot of great places to sit. Uh, nice benches to sit and enjoy the view. Nice palm trees. We should be looking that way. All right, a number of people said audio looks good and it looks good. All right, so the technology test has passed on that one. There's a 
few surfers out today. Laguna Beach isn't a super great surf destination, but you can see out there. I wonder if I can zoom on this. Can I zoom? Hey, there we go. There's some surfers out in the water. Okay, unzoom. Well, all right. All right. Angeline says, happy birthday, enjoy. Thank you, Angeline. Veronica is joining in from Riverside, California. I saw that we also had uh, someone from Sweden on earlier, so welcome for everybody who's joining in from far afield. Laguna Beach is well known for its public art. In my travel guide that I did on this recently, I said I thought this was a killer whale, but many people said they thought it was a what, maybe a beluga whale? As opposed to an orca or a blue whale? Any whale lovers out there that can tell me what kind of whale it is? We'll be looking at those as we go. These things kind of look like uh, Joshua trees. Dr. Richmond said, I thought you do live streams 4.45 every Tuesday. That is my usual time for live streams during the pandemic and lockdown and different things. I've been trying different stuff. So it's, uh, it's hard to get out and shoot places on location in the afternoon. So there will be no sit down live stream today at 445. Just this one. And the one and only Pinky Pinky says that is a humpback whale. All right. Thank you very much for that. By the way, I can't, I don't, I don't really know what these things are, but they're kind of, they're like, uh, it's like rubber, something like that. There's uh, plenty full bathrooms in Heisler Park. And Sean says, if I go to Singapore, I should stay at the Marina Bay Sands. I would like that to stay at the Marina Bay Sands. Seems like a pretty nice hotel. Uh, now, related to COVID-19 and the pandemic, not everything is open. So you'll see here, here's a picnic spot, but it's kind of roped off, so no picnic for people. Though, one of the things that, you know, there's a lot of restrictions, and I think people are starting to get pandemic fatigue, so people often just kind of walk beyond the barricades and eat anyway, is what it appears to be. David has joined in from Brisbane, Australia. Welcome, mate. Thanks for tuning in to the live stream today from all the way down under. Now, I mentioned public art earlier, and you can see there's a bench here. This bench is like a piece of art in and of itself. It's basically a metal thing sandwiched between two rocks. Uh, and they've also, they don't, you know, trash cans are ugly. So they've done things to kind of like store the trash cans away so you don't have to look at trash cans. They've made little pop out things or benches. As I mentioned, there are lots of staircases down to the beach. Here it's probably, I don't know, 75 steps down to the beach, something like that. There's a famous beach in Laguna Beach called Thousand Steps Beach, which is probably my favorite beach in Laguna. And it's not a thousand steps, it's like 220, but it's a lot. Um, now parking in Laguna Beach, it's mostly pay parking, all these parking meters here. It's uh, by the beach, it's like $2.50 per hour. So if you're planning to do a walk like I am, then I kind of park in the residential neighborhoods and get my exercise to walk down to the beach. There's a couple of girls over here that are taking some pictures or shooting something on camera. It's a popular spot to take wedding pictures and engagement pictures. Actually, OC Girl and I uh, had our uh, wedding reception dinner here in Laguna Beach. Here's some other piece of public art. I have no idea what this thing is supposed to be, but that's kind of what art does, you know, like modern art, contemporary art. There's a rock out there that's known as Bird Rock because it has a gazillion birds on it. Uh, let's see, right there, if we can focus on that. That is hard to zoom into. Perry asks, how is Mr. Topher? The Panda Crew is doing well. Thank you very much. Uh, with me today on this journey is our traveling princess in the Poco backpack. Uh, Anne says, it looks beautiful there. I'm in cold Baltimore. Yes, it is definitely 
much better weather here than in Baltimore, I would imagine. One of the things I definitely love about California is the weather. And for people who tuned in a little later, this is what we got going on right here. Here's me, there's the traveling princess there in the back in the Poco. Likes to see herself. It's the headset microphone and the audio kit right down here on the belt so you can hear me. All right, let's go ahead and look forward again. One of my favorite restaurants in Laguna Beach is Las Brisas. It's this restaurant right here. Actually, we ate here on the Sunday before the recent California lockdown that closed all indoor and outdoor dining. Um, I, actually, we were, if you saw my post about a table by the ocean, we sat at uh, this table right here. And looking this way, this is Main Beach again. And part of the reason why, um, part of the reason why this restaurant's so great is you have views of the water. There was a question about how am I in Laguna Beach? Because of the lockdown, uh, we live uh, really close to Laguna Beach. And the lockdown says, yeah, hey, you can go outside, you can go for a walk, you can get exercise. The governor encouraged us to go to the beach, mental health, and so I'm going for a walk today, just taking you all along with me, virtually, which I think, I think is safe. Uh, Main Beach is just this great crescent, crescent, safe, crescent shaped beach. Las Brisas here, they're doing a really interesting good. How about yourself? Very good. Margaritas and cerveza here from Las Brisas and to go. Thank you very much. All right. So if you're in Laguna Beach and you want some good Mexican food to go, including margaritas and cervezas, check that out. That's pretty neat. That is what a lot of these restaurants are trying to do just to make the best of it. You can see they've got all their outdoor seating here, uh, but nobody's at it because all indoor and outdoor dining is currently closed in California. But as I said before, the beaches are open, sidewalks are open, parks are open. Uh, as we get to the village, we'll probably see a lot more stuff that's closed. There was a question about how long will I be staying here? I don't know. I, I don't think I'll do this walk for more than an hour because I think that the battery on my phone will probably run out before then. Uh, Ethan says, hey, from Jersey, will you be doing a series on Chicago and the public transport there? I guess if I go there, I will, um, but I don't have any immediate plans to go there. Laguna Beach has seven oceanfront hotels. One of them here is called The Inn. It's got this kind of oceanfront swimming pool with a neat shower that's on a surfboard, uh, but most of the hotels are empty because the current stay-at-home order says hotels uh, shouldn't book to people that are from out of state. So the only people that will be staying here are in-state or people who uh, are spending 14 days to quarantine coming from another state. And here's some more public art. This is also, like, if I have to pick one viewpoint that's my favorite, it's this one. This is the viewpoint right above the beach. I don't know what this thing is, um, but uh, there's also a neat bench here that's, like, got like three people that are holding up the bench but I guess less interesting than the bench is definitely the view so we'll take a look at this we're gonna walk down there this is main beach that we're gonna go and see and then back in the direction that we walked from uh, yeah let's hit the road Jack says the hotels are cheap they're only six hundred dollars a night yeah, cheap indeed and let's hit the road Jack said I saw a gimbal on your shadow indeed this is the DJI OM4 Osmo Mobile 4 and I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S20 to stream this and I've got my headset that I typically use for live streams plugged into a Zoom H6. And then I've got that running into the phone via a little USB to headset adapter. So that's all the 
techno jargon for the stream today. Oh, and my network, if you're curious, is T-Mobile 5G. I made an offering to the 5G gods before I did this live stream to, you know, hope and pray that our cell phone service stays good, which is always kind of sketchy by the beach. But that's why I was actually staying on the bluff top instead of going down to the beach over there because... You know, when you go down a cliff uh, on the beach, that's often a place to lose your cell phone service. Um, here's an interesting sign, uh, which tells you about the tsunami evacuation routes and uh, where to go in case there's a tsunami. Hopefully there isn't one today, uh, but I guess that's important to know. This right here, in addition to being public restrooms, is also the Laguna Beach main lifeguard station. They call it like the Marine Safety Division. Here's the sign. All of the beaches have a sign that looks like this to tell you what the beach is. So here's Main Beach. All of the areas in Laguna Beach are protected marine habitats, uh, which means you can't take anything home from the beach, including sand or shells or anything like that. By the way, it's great to see 66 of you on this live stream walk with me today. If you're enjoying the live stream, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Tells YouTube that you like this live stream uh, and that YouTube should share it with other people. So this is the beach that most people go to, Main Beach. It's got showers. It's generally lifeguarded most of the year. We'll go up to the main lifeguard tower in a second. Uh, Esther asks, how long is the walk? I think this walk that I'm going to do today is about, well, I mean, so far I've walked, I don't know, half a mile, three quarters of a mile. This total walk will probably be a mile or a mile and a half. Depends how far I decide to go. Now, this boardwalk here, uh, 